Good evening, friends. We are here to celebrate our new holiday catalog. Um, as you guys know, since I'm a happy shopper, I get these catalogs pretty early, and I've been making pretty things with these catalogs and this um, holiday stuff for quite some time. So, um, I'm so excited to bring you three projects tonight, so strap in because it's going to be awesome. And we're going to make a cute little penguin birthday card, a Christmas card because I just can hardly stand it, and um, we have a Halloween card. Yay! Hello, Amy. Good to see you and Susie and Debbie Allen. I'm so happy to see you guys. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> in case you didn't know, uh, it's the new catalog has launched. I'm writing a note to myself to remember to draw for a prize because we have prizes tonight. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Well, I'm going to wait till we get more people on, but um, about the prizes. So, the way celebration works, if you've been with Stampin' Up! before, you know that um, celebration is the most wonderful time of the year, and we've always had it in January. But now we have a summer celebration, okay? This is super exciting. So, we have a brand new celebration brochure, okay, just for summer. This is... Um, August now, August 3rd, yesterday, to September 20th, 30th. So we have two months to celebrate, okay? But you don't want to wait. Like, you want to get on board, do your celebrating now, continue to celebrate through um, August, and then again in September. So you want to get a few orders in with your celebration um, goodies because for every $50 you spend, you get to choose something from this catalog, okay? And there's a couple of items in here that are free with a $100 purchase. Um, so if you spend $100, you can choose two small items or one of the bigger items. So that's exciting. Thank you for sharing. So our goal tonight is to get 10 people to watch. Um, if we can get 10 people watching, then um, we're going to have two prizes. So remember to share the, um, share the video so that we can get as most people on as possible. Um, so just hit that little arrow button and share this video with your friends. All right. Um, <clears throat> so let me point you downwards. All right, we're up to six, which is exciting. Um, going to point you downward and show you, oh gosh, of course my, my little camera arm is not ready for a party. Hold on. Let's see if I can fix it. I'm so sorry, y'all. I have to tighten it so it will stay where it's supposed to be. Okay, hopefully that'll do it. Oh my goodness, so sorry, friends. Oh, you got to see my little turtles while you were at it. All right, so we're just going to shift everything. It's never a dull moment on Facebook Live, right? Okay, so you see all my chicken scratch here. Um, we have so many fun things to show you today. Um, we're going to use these three stamp sets. We have the Peaceful Deer the Penguin Place, and the Cutest Halloween. And I'll tell you that, that we have a suite and two bundles to talk about. All right, so here's our cute little Halloween card and our Peaceful Deer card and our Penguin card. All right. I'm going to keep an eye on the comments here. So comment, let me know what's your favorite suite or bundle from the new catalog. I would love to know because there are so many new bundles, okay? So let me just review, though, for celebration. Um, it starts August 3rd to go through the end of September. When you spend $50, 
then you get to pick something free from this catalog. Now, just for a point of clarification, you can order your stuff from this catalog, my dirty catalog, or you can order stuff from the annual catalog. So um, anything that you order, or even off the clearance rack, whatever, qualifies you to, to earn free things from this catalog, okay? So just to clarify that, some people get confused and think they have to order from the holiday catalog. Basically, anything you order um, goes towards your free items. All right, so let me, let's do the first card and then we'll go and look a little bit at the celebration items. So let's start with Halloween. It comes first in the order of our, um, of our holidays. Now, you will not believe I made these for my, my, uh, we have a catalog case swap. So I have a pile of these cute Halloween cards and they were actually so fun to make. And to be honest, I was kind of struggling using this punch cause I couldn't really figure out how to use it and nothing like making some swaps to figure out some tricks about this punch. So the good news is I'm going to show you my tricks tonight so you won't be curious. And then I also was really wondering what paper this was because it just, it was interesting. I couldn't figure it out. But luckily, as a demonstrator, I have access to the recipes from the catalog. And it turns out it's uh, some of this paper from our huge pack of free paper that you get when you host a workshop. And uh, this is the um, this is the paper that we're using. I'll show you that huge pack of paper. I believe it has. Let me see. Let me flip it around here. It is called Pattern Party, and you get uh, 48 sheets for $18. I said free, but for $18, which is practically free when you're talking about 48 sheets of designer paper. So that is what I used to make this little guy, okay? And um, I will get the dimensions up eventually. I am getting out of town tomorrow. So um, I will tell you, this is, this is interesting. This is four by five, which makes this four and a quarter by, four and three quarters by three and three quarters, okay? So four by five, and that's the key to getting that cool edge around that card okay that's the only way to do it and I just figured that out pretty simply not hard all right so we are gonna pop this designer paper down to our base and um, it's perfectly cut size wise to let that edge show just like it does so don't be tempted to cut it the usual five and a quarter by four you're gonna cut it uh, five by four, okay? And you're just gonna center it top to bottom, side to side. And then this is eventually gonna go right there, but we're gonna stamp on it first. So we are going to start using the stamps from our cute little Halloween set. And you'll see that we have cats, we have uh, skeletons, we have ghosts, and we have pumpkins. And we're gonna make all three tonight, but we're gonna start with this skeleton, okay? And it is going to be um, this little outline is what we're gonna start with. And we are just going to, oh, and you wanna get a stamp and pierce mat underneath your stamp area because we're using these see-through stamps, the photopolymer stamps. So you're gonna do two stamps like so, okay, doom doom. And then you're gonna stamp the sentiment is gonna go next, okay? So have a fabulous Halloween, goes right here. Okay. And then you're gonna do three more. Oh, I got, that's a little too juicy. Pushed a little too hard. You're gonna do a skeleton a skull, I guess. I keep saying it's a skeleton, but it's really a skull. So the skulls kind of go do 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 over up the paper. Okay, so that's how you're gonna orient the skeletons. Then you're going to get these little eyeballs. 
that go into your skeleton. First set of eyeballs is this, and it goes in the bottom, and it goes on this one, and it goes on this one. Okay? And then your next set of eyeballs is pretty cool, and it's this one. It's like your little smirky skull, smirky skull, like so. Okay, so that's your background. You're just making your smirky skull, crazy skull background. Okay, now this is the key. When you're working with your punch, you want to use one and a half inch strips, okay? And you'll see why here in a sec. Um, and then what I always do when I'm working with my punch is I say, okay, this paper goes in here, okay, just like so. And actually, I'm going to move my, I'm going to pull my paper in this way. See why it's important to have that strip, okay? So you're just going to slide it in there and cut that pumpkin. So you know you want your pumpkin top to go this way. We are going to stamp Mr. Pumpkin. And he also needs his little face. And the face is this guy right here. Right there. And then that's your pumpkin. And let's go ahead and do all of our stamping. We're going to stamp our little ghosty ghost. And he is just the cutest thing. He's going to go, let's see, this is going to go in this way. So we're just going to stamp our ghost like so. And then what's cute about the ghost is you're going to pull in with these little um, ghost arms. And they're on the back of one of these. Oh, here they are. So these little ghost arms are right here. It's kind of an odd, odd stamp to see, but there's our little ghost arms. And that's gonna go right here. And then the tiniest stamp of the whole gang, I actually keep in here because it's so tiny. It's a little bitty dot. And it's gonna be a miracle if I don't lose it, but it's the tiniest little dot. And that's just how you're gonna make your little cheeks with Blushing Bride because why not have cheeks on your ghost? So you're going to stamp off and make little cheeks. But stamp off a little bit first just to make it cute, cute. Okay. Hi, Jewel. Good to see you. All right. So we did our stamping with our ghost. And then the next strip we need is gray. And we're going to... Remember, hold your hold your stamp out. I mean, hold your punch out, and figure out. Okay, so I need to actually stamp my cat upside down on that piece of paper. So we're going to do that, and I can see my little cat face here. It's going to go like so. Okay, so now you don't have to worry at all about how to use this punch. Because when you use the one and a half inch strips and then you just set your your punch down, then you'll know exactly what to do, okay? So you're going to pull in your little uh, ghost. You're going to pull in your little pumpkin. Isn't he cute? And then you're going to pull in your cat. Okay, so you've got your three little guys. And I made 10 of these in a flash, so it's not hard. Now, because this card is a little bit extra, we have some paper piecing that we're going to do here. And this is a card that I copied straight from the catalog. So let me show you. That's the funnest thing. We have a swap where we copy cards from the catalog. And, oh, actually, our, uh, it's not on the page with the suite. I'll show you the suite. It's called Cute Halloween. It's adorable. It has these cute little coffin boxes. The designer paper and the ribbon are just fantastic. 
Of course, you're going to need the bundle because this punch is everything, okay? Now that I've shown you how to use it. But you can see each one of our bundles has, um, it has uh, a card in the back. So an exclusive card. So that's where I found this one is back here by the bundle, okay? So if you're ever like, well, I don't like those ones that I see there, just look towards the back because this was the best of all of them, in my opinion. Now, so what we're going to do is we're just, we're really trying to just get the fabulous. So don't get too stressed about how you're stamping it. You're just getting that fabulous off of the stamp on. And this, by the way, is Blushing Bride. Matches the little pink uh cheeks on that ghost and then all we're gonna do is pop this on with a glue dot a couple glue dots actually so that's just gonna go right over that word isn't that neat so and then you're gonna pop up your little pieces. Actually, I'm gonna go, nope, yep, I'm gonna stick this down first. Um, and Jewel, uh, I know you joined us just a minute ago. Um, when you share the video, you're gonna get in the drawing for a prize, but also, if we get 10 people watching, then we will have an extra prize. So we'll have two prizes. And these are going to be uh, new catalog prizes. So um, as always, we're going to give away the projects that I made to the person that I draw. But also, you're going to get a new holiday catalog embellishment as one of the prizes. And if we get 10 people to watch, then we'll have another prize. So keep sharing. We are going to keep rolling. Okay, so voila. We have the cutest Halloween card of all time. Thank you, Jewel. This is Smoky Slate Pumpkin Pie Smoky Slate um, Pattern Party Designer Paper from the host offering in the annual catalog. And this is Blushing Bride. Okay, so love it. Isn't it cute? Oh, we're not done yet. We have to stick on our cute uh, stars. So we have self-adhesive, and of course they're called cute stars because they are, and they're self-adhesive, so they're so easy. I was like, oh my gosh, I lucked out that I made this card for swaps because all you do is ram these suckers in on your card and I just used the orange and black ones for this card you could sneak in the purple ones but I kind of like the orange and black theme that was going here so that's how I left it and that is the end of this card oh inside I did not do anything it is smoky slate so um you can do what you want on the inside. I am not a big inside the card stamper. I know that a lot of people really are, but I am not. Okay, so card number one. Now, let me show you some of the items that are in the celebration catalog. So, uh, between projects, we're gonna do a little do-do-do. A little tour so one of the items that we're gonna that you can get for free with a $50 purchase is this be dazzling paper this item I know is while supplies last so you don't want to wait this might be one of the things you want first is this be dazzling paper and it's a six by six uh, paper eight sheets it's so cute it looks like to me it looks like a fishnet hot tights but paper um, and it sparkles and it doesn't, like the glitter doesn't go everywhere. We have some free penguin paper, which matches this penguin bundle, which we're gonna make a card with later. It's adorable. Um, we have this gorgeous feels like home set. It's free with a $50 purchase. 
we have this gorgeous, beautifully pinned 12 by 12 designer paper that you can color. See how you can color it all on your own? <gasps> Love it. And you can even like stamp on it there. We're gonna use this uh, deer paper. Hey, Bettina, good to see you. Uh, we have a deer punch in the holiday catalog and you can coordinate it with this deer paper that we're gonna use tonight. A very classic Christmas pattern. Um, fantastic. We have sheep stamp set and what's awesome is we have sheep dies and sometimes our dies are only free with a hundred dollar purchase. These are free with 50. So you can spend a hundred dollars and get the sheep and the dies free. Um, don't snooze on that because you know how fast our dies go. Textures and frames, $50. Isn't that so cool? All these little projects. Uh, Summer Shadows Dies. This coordinates with a stamp set called Shaded Summer, which is in the annual catalog. Okay. Um, Jewel, I don't know, but I know it's available soon because I am about the Turtle Punch. I am ha having a class on it soon, and it, the, what I remember is that it would be here in time for the class. So within weeks. Okay. Um, we have the Delicate Dahlias. And I was so excited because my team member, Cindy, made this card for me using that stamp set. Isn't this gorgeous? It's like a distinctive stamp set. And um, it's just stunning, stunning card. She just made that to be sweet because that's how she is. Um, so delicate. And that is a fancy set that is two-step. And it's got lots of options. And so it's the free with a $100 purchase. Um, the other item that's free with a $100 purchase are the Summer Shadows dies, and that's the one that goes with the Shaded Summer stamp set. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. And um, we also have a deal going. If you host a party, either you host a party or you have an order that's $300 or more, then you get this In Your Words stamp set for free, and it's so awesome. It's got all the best sentiments. I love this. Hope your day is fabulistic, fabulous and fantastic all in one. Uh, life is full of ups and downs. Hold on tight. Love that too. So um, that's free with a $300 purchase or order. You could just gather friends or go wild. The best deal, though, is the starter kit, and we'll talk about that towards the end, but I just want to put a bug in your ear that when you get the starter kit, which is $125 for $99, you get to pick a free bundle, okay? So I'll show you which bundles are free uh, after our next project, but um, just keep that in mind because that is the absolute best deal. It's always the best deal in the catalog. But it's particularly the best deal now because of that free bundle. Some of those bundles are over $50. So that's a fantastic deal on top of the already good deal with the um, stamp set. I mean the starter kit. I just want to flash a cute little class I'm doing um, coming up at the end of the month. I'm getting out of town tomorrow, so I wanted to go ahead and post it. But it's a set of cards using this cute turtle, okay? And um, you're going to get the designer paper, the embellishments, the um, ribbons to, to create the class. You'll need this to, to, the stamp set and bundle with the turtle. You can add that on if you don't already have it. Um, and the information, I posted that on Facebook today and also on email. So make sure you're getting my emails. If not, message me and I'll add you to my email system. That's where all the good stuff is in email. And I give out free card, um, card, uh, what do you call them, PDF instructions on my email. So that's definitely a reason to be there. All right, let us go forward with our penguin. Now, our penguin is a bundle in the annual catalog, I mean in the holiday mini, and it is a stamp set and punch bundle, okay? And don't get stuck in thinking that it's just for Christmas. It's totally for birthdays. Also is cute for Christmas um, and the holidays, but don't get stuck in a Christmas rut with it. It is all year round, okay? And you're gonna get to make this cute little penguin and build it with this penguin builder punch, okay? So I'll show you how we're gonna do that. 
and um, when you purchase a $50 or more from that catalog, then you can get the Penguin paper for free. So it would be criminal to have the, car the bundle without having the paper, am I right? The paper is everything. It's got these cute little animals in, um, let's see, the colors are, we have balmy blue, basic black of course, calypso coral, fresh freesia, just jade, and misty moonlight, as well as soft sea foam. So it, it confused me a little, but you've got the fresh freesia, big and small animals. You've got the oh, sea foam, big and small animals. I thought it was the same paper at first, but then I was like, oh, it's big and small, okay? But when you turn them over, you've got these great monochromatic and muted patterns that are perfect for your after holiday or before holiday cards. Won't that make gorgeous Christmas cards? I mean, just the paper itself is worth it. Uh, so the paper is 12 by 12. I did cut it down to six by six just to show it to you easier, but it is a 12 by 12 stack of paper. All right, and you can see here all these cute little um, projects using the penguin. And the bundle itself is only $31.50, so that's a great deal. You could get both the deer and the penguin bundles, and then you could get your free item. So that's what I would recommend tonight. Or get the starter kit, and you can get both bundles and a lot more. All right, so let's get started on our penguin card. All right, we're going to start with a thick, we need a thick white base because uh, that holds up to a good card. So you don't really want to use our regular basic white because it's uh, it's thinner and it's great for layers but you want to use thick white for your base and then I just cut a piece of the I have I have so much of this designer paper that I'm using it to cover the whole card front so five and a half by four and a quarter gonna do that and then this I cut with the um, the stitched so sweetly dies okay that's just one of the dies in the Stitched So Sweetly dies set. And if you don't have this, that's insane because it is one of the best set of dies we have. Here's this one hiding from us. That's where I got that. Okay, so I did pull some of my ink pads out of here earlier when I was doing another project and I can see that um, one of them is, I left on the table over here, so pause. I knew there would be something that I left over there. Okay, so the colors of ink, oh, sorry. The colors of ink you're going to need are figured that out okay y'all sorry I got a new little camera holder and I forgot how to adjust it good good now the colors we need are pumpkin pie misty moonlight fresh freesia um, soft sea foam and memento black okay so you've got quite a few gorgeous colors here now what I did is I started with this interesting stamp here and that is gonna be the misty moonlight hill okay so we're just gonna make a little hill here Zoop. and then we're going to take it and we're gonna pull it over this way and we're also gonna pull it over this way okay so um, I didn't do all the way through there let's see if I can connect it okay I'm not going to try again there. Close enough. So um, we've got our hill, and then we're going to stamp a little happy birthday. You might actually stamp the happy birthday first, just to be safe. But I can see I did leave myself enough space there. So I'm going to use this gold, good, bold, misty moonlight for that. And... I'm gonna go ahead and stamp to the coolest friend ever up here with the Misty Moonlight. All right, now 
I'm going to grab a scrap piece of white for the rest of this fun stamping. We are going to stamp our uh, balloon with fresh freesia. We are going to stamp a, we're going to get our Stampin' Pierce mat out for this. We're going to use Memento to stamp this cute little, two of the cute little penguins. Now, when I'm inking up this black, what I do is I kind of go back and forth and then a couple times down, and that really gets it inked. Now, again, I want to look at my punch and realize that it's going to need to go in this way. So, I want the penguin edge to come here. So, one... That's how many penguins I need. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp. I wonder. Oh, yeah, the eyes are already in there. I was like, I don't remember stamping the eyes. I'm going to stamp the little beak and feet. Now, the punch does have the ability to cut out the feet and actually also to cut out a white body but I just went ahead and left it white okay so that's what these this is the body of the deal and then these are feet but I for the simplicity of tonight since we're doing three projects I decided to just stamp the little feet on which that's one of our options using pumpkin pie so I'm gonna go one Okay, and then I'm going to put in a little beak like so. One, two. Isn't that the cutest? All right, so we're going to slide our little penguins into our punch. Sometimes we get extra pieces there. And then we're just going to fussy cut this uh, balloon. Now I'm gonna go fast here, just so y'all don't get bored. But uh, when you're fussy cutting, you want to keep your scissors straight and in one like plane, and then you're gonna use your other hand to turn the paper. So that's just a little trick. Don't. If you try to do all the turning with the hand that has scissors, then you're going to be really clunky and it's going to take forever. So this is just a fun little tip for you. And we're also going to go ahead, while we've got our scissors out, we're going to stamp a little bow that's fresh freesia for her hair. And then we're going to stamp a scarf that's misty moonlight and actually I remember now I did that stamped off once and then stamped it lighter because I thought that was cute so we're gonna cut these out fussy fussy these are easy to cut because they're angular so they cut really fast boom 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 no worries it's so cute, little scarf. Because, you know, penguins could get cold if they don't have a scarf on. And then we've got our little bow for our girl penguin. Okay. So we are good to go with everything, I believe. I'm sure there's probably one more thing I think that's all I need to cut though. Uh, we do need to determine where our balloon, uh, we're gonna cover that up like so, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my tree right here. I had to cover up that smudge. 
So let me find my tree stamp. Now on this card, I made the tree, uh, I made the tree Granny Apple Green, but I realized that the green in this paper is the soft sea foam, which is, I love. So I changed it to soft sea foam, which is fantastic. Love it. All right, and then we're going to determine where our kite string or balloon string needs to be. So I'll just give you a tip. You're only gonna ink it till right about there. Okay, you just need it just below the little squiggle and you're just gonna slide it over and that's where it's gonna go, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and shut that before I make a huge mess. All right, so let's put our little guys down. Let me cut, close all my ink pads before I have ink extravaganza. Okay, we are going to pop these up with the dimensionals. Dun dun dun, dun 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 dun. So make sure this guy is to where it looks like he's holding the balloon. And then this one can just go here. Put them wherever you want on the little thing. And then we're going to use a mini glue dot to pop on our bow. That's gonna go here. And then another mini glue dot to pop on our scarf. That's gonna go here. All right, so we've done all of our stamping. The last thing is our little dimensional to pop on our balloon, okay? Now, the cool thing is this paper is, you know, it does have a winter vibe to it, but I chose the stripe one as a birthday print. So I think it's fantastic for birthdays. It doesn't scream Christmas at all. So, um, that's why I chose that one. I'm going to make another card with it. I've already got it ready with this polka dot. And you can also use this print. So, I did get this idea from one of my fellow demonstrators for this card. Um, I tweaked it just a hair, but I'll make sure and give her credit on my blog. Okay, so birthday card penguins you want to get the bundle it's only uh, $31.50 and it's the stamp set and punch and y'all if I had to predict our bun our, our punches go fast so like don't sleep on this one because you know how always when we have the perfect punch it's so difficult to to keep in stock um, you all know the stories of our fantastic punches um, so grab your punch and stamp set bundle and you can get the penguin designer paper for free Okay, so that's another one of our great connections between our holiday mini catalog and our celebration catalog All right now, let me show you Some cute projects. I have using the penguins so I have this cute swap that my friend on my team made, um, Karen Day, so cute. And this is a swap that I made, same swap uh, participation. We just had a great idea, didn't we? Oh, hey, Barb, it's good to see you. So there's some cute samples there. I also have another sample using the cute Halloween. This is a card that I made for a sketch challenge. You can see that the, the Halloween designer paper has little um, elements that you can punch straight out with your punch, okay? So these are from the Halloween designer paper and it's all that in a bag of chips. Oh, you can see a real good uh, explanation of the paper in one of my cards that I'm showing you. Okay. I'm on the, I'm doing a video. Do you want some chicken? No. 
Um, so let's see. Here's a little card I made using all those all those cute designer papers. Isn't that so sweet? I love it. Just little strips of paper, little hey boo. So you want the cute Halloween. It's the best. Uh, I've got another card that my team member Elizabeth Mayfield Hart made, and it is using a stamp set in the back called, I can't remember, it's on my blog today, so just go into papermadeperryyard.com and um, you'll see all the information about this cute card, as well as a blog hop where you can follow along and see all the cute projects there. That's in the new catalog. Okay, um, our next project is using the Peaceful Deer Bundle. Now, Peaceful Deer is also fabulous. We have a deer stamp set, and I've covered up my box that has the punch in it. So let me see if I can squeeze around here and get the punch out without causing an avalanche. Yes. Okay. So we are going to use this uh, bundle at my next team gathering and this is one of the cards that we're making. We're going to make six cards using this uh, bundle. So you can, if you're on my team, you can look forward to that. You need to register. Uh, the, reg the fee is only $10 for all six cards, but um, you want to go ahead and register for that soon because six cards is fantastic. I'm going to show you how to make this cool card, and it focuses on our designer series paper, which the whole pack of designer paper, which is 12 by 12, is free with a um, $50 purchase. Okay, so it's got all these cool patterns. Very classic, tr classic Christmas papers. This is going to go fast, I can promise you. Okay, so I've got our pieces already ready here. And here's what's cool about this card is it is very, oh, tidy, and you'll see why. So you are going to start with a card base that's five, five and a half by eight and a half, and you're gonna score it at four and a quarter, okay? But then what you're gonna do, your next score, your next cut, is going to give you one of the pieces to mm -hmm. use on your card. And of course, I moved my cutter over to the other table. Let's do a little Simone Biles trick to get it. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to cut this down to um, Hold on, I have to look this up because I don't want to screw this up. The white card is different than the black card. Here we go. Let me read the instructions so I don't do it wrong. You are going to cut off a three and a quarter inch piece from the front. Okay, so you're going to bring this over to three and a quarter and you're going to cut it. Okay. And 